Hey guys, Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you had a wonderful, happy holiday, whatever you guys celebrate. Today is Christmas, and I'm so excited. I love Christmas. I'm so sad that, it, that it's gone. The main thing that I'm going to miss is the Christmas music on the radio. But anyway, today I'm going to be filming a What I Got for Christmas. I did one of these videos last year for 2010, and you guys loved it, and everyone requested so much for me to do another one. So that's the only reason why I'm doing it for you guys. It's kind of just a laid-back day for me. I am wearing a happy holiday shirt and um, I tried to be as festive as I can with my earrings and I throw them on a little bit of makeup for you guys just some mascara and blush just because I didn't want to look completely crazy in this video as you can see my hair's pretty crazy so don't mind it um and then other than that yeah we've just been kind of chilling we opened up presents last night because other dress had to work today you know the same rules go this year as they went last year my family we celebrate Christmas and you know we always have but we do Christmas a little bit different than most people do it for the most part we do get gift cards and money um my brother and I. First off, it's just my brother and I, my mom, my aunt, and my grandma. My grandpa passed away a few years ago, and but other than our significant others, we're just a really small, tight-knit family. I'll link the Christmas video that I did last year down below. It kind of explains it a little bit better, um, you know, as far as family shindigs go and all that. And then also what we get for Christmas. Um, for the most part, like I said in that video last year, things haven't changed. Since I was 10 or 11, we've been receiving what we like to call a goodie box. And pretty much what that is is just like our toiletries and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you show you guys what all I got this year. Um, just bear in mind, like I said, I did turn 25 in November, so I get more of grown-up things except for one thing that I got for the most part. Other than that, I get money and gift cards, and that's about it. So I'm going to show you guys because you guys requested it so much. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. The first things I'll show you, like I did last year, were from Andres, and last year, and I had to watch that video over because I couldn't even remember what I got him, but last year I got him a metal cage that had uh, weights for him to weight lift and stuff like that. This year he didn't want anything crazy like that. He actually needed to replace his bumper, so I gave him partial of that to replace his bumper on his truck. And um, I also got him the Aquadigio uh, Giorgio Armani cologne. That's his favorite all-time cologne, or all-time favorite cologne. So I got him that, and then I also got him a gift card to Express, which is one of his favorite places to shop. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for him. And then for me, he got me, and I got one of these last year too, and that's a pillow pet. And I, I love pillow pets. Last year I got the pink pig, and I named her Ophelia. This one is the giraffe, and it actually really reminds me of Miss Glamorazzi's vlog channel, um, because they always talk about this pillow pet and stuff, so, um, I actually, he got me the giraffe and I named it Limon, just because, I don't know, his belly looks like a lemon, because he's yellow, and so I named him Lemon first, and then I was like, I'm gonna name him Limon, which is the Spanish word for lemon, I know. <laughs> I just think it's funny. So yeah, that's his name, and you guys know what pillow pets aren't by now, I'm sure, but he turns into like a little pet, and then you can undo his belly for a pillow. I just think they're so cute. I slept with this in the bed last night, and it's adorable. I love him. <laughs> the next thing that he got me was the last thing that he got me, just because it was kind of pricey, um, and usually we set, you know, like a budget, and since we got married and everything, we usually set a budget every year for Christmas, and he almost always goes over it, but that's okay. So, um, he actually got me a Michael Kors watch, and, um, this is the box that it came in. It just came in like a normal watch, botch, botch, <laughs> a watch box, and then this is what the actual, um, watch looks like, and you know what, I wonder if I can... Yes, this is the MK5412. I don't actually have the name of it, but it's the rose gold watch, and it has the plate like this. Um, it's like the only one that they have with rhinestones like this, and it's the full rose gold, not the one with the acrylic. I love this watch. I'm so excited. But again, I need to get it. It's pretty big. You see, it goes down quite large, so I need to get it fixed, but I absolutely love this. I am like have never owned a rose gold watch or anything really other than silver and the white one that I got last year so I was super super excited when he got me this like I've been wanting this for a while so yeah he did really good I love the things that he got me this Christmas he listens so well like he always pays attention to things that I want whereas I feel horrible but I always have to directly ask him what he wants because <laughs> I never know what to get him I'm not a very very creative gift shopper 
But anyway, so on to the things that my uh, family got for us. I mentioned this in the last year's video. My mom usually always, growing up, my mom was a single parent. So uh, she, normally my grandparents were the ones that would get us the most gifts and then my mom would just get us what she could. And my aunt as well. So, you know, understandably, as we've got older, they've been able to afford more things and get us uh, more things for the holidays and versus my, gran my grandma being the sole gift giver. Um, so my mom usually always just gives us money, I mean, or gift cards, and so she gave us money again this year, which I don't have the box or anything, it's downstairs, but um, she gave us, my brother and I, and Andres, all money for Christmas so that we could do some Christmas shopping after Christmas. <laughs> so not, of course nothing's open today, we can't go look. So tomorrow I will be at the mall shopping, plus I need to get my watch fixed. So yeah, that's all she gave us. And um, that came from my mom and my stepdad. So as far as the rest of my family goes, like I said, I will link my last year's video down below. Please check that out. It explains it a lot more in depth. But pretty much just an overview is we always get what we call a goodie box, which is nothing but our toiletries. Um, I mentioned this before. It's something that is essential. When you live out on your own, you have your own house or your own apartment or you live in a dorm, you know, your toiletries are something that can cost you pretty hefty dollars per month. So my grandma, since we were really young, has always got us a goodie box. And then as we've got older, my aunt's kind of picked up on that as well. And um, so we get shampoo and I'll, I'll just show you guys <laughs> what we got. Um, this is a mixture between my mom or my aunt and my grandma. I really can't remember who's from who. But I'm just going to show you kind of some examples of what we get. So this this I know from is from my grandma because she shops shops at can't even talk she shops at Sam's, and so this is in bulk. And <laughs> so this is uh, the refills for our Venus razor for Andres and I to share. I also got some makeup remover wipes, a loofah, some Nair lotion. I got some Ouchless Goody um, elastics, which are my favorite. I got four boxes of my hair dye that I use some Stridex pads, and some shave gel, which I actually got a couple different kinds of shave gels. And then I also got a Carmex um, lip balm, and it came in a, like, plastic bin. And normally what they would do before was actually get us all of our goodies in a box, and then, of course, you know, we would throw the box away. So what they've been doing in recent years is getting us little containers that we could reuse, so that it wouldn't be so wasteful. Like this one ugh, is heavy, but um, this is actually from my grandma. And this box is so cute. I actually have one already that's in my bathroom, in my master, I mean in my master bathroom. And um, I have magazines in it and some extra toilet paper, but it's so cute. I love this damask print. I've showed you guys this before, so I think I'm going to put this in the um, new built-in desk that we have downstairs in our kitchen. It would match the decor perfectly as far as um, like the little office supplies and stuff that I have down there, so I think I'm going to put it there. But yeah, for the most part, my grandma um, usually always gets us like our chonas and our socks and undershirts and for Andres, you know, she gets him his work undershirts, his boxer briefs and um, he would kill me if you know I was saying that on YouTube, but anyway, his um, uh, work undershirts, socks and all that stuff. And then he also gets like more manly products. Like some of the stuff we use the same, like the shampoo and conditioner and body wash um, is all the same, but as far as like his deodorant and you know, if he requires, I don't even know what he got, but anything else, like it comes more of like the manly scent. Like I think he got some Axe um, body wash and stuff like that. The rest of it we kind of share. So I did get some Chonas. I just wear the regular cotton kind from Walmart. Um, I got some Pantene shampoo and I also got some head and shoulder shampoo, some um, Pantene conditioner. I got some more um, shave gel, some toothpaste. I think he got a toothpaste too. I got some Aussie Three Minute Miracle. Ooh, I'm dropping things. Some hairspray. This is actually my favorite hairspray because it smells so good, but it makes your hair really crunchy, so be careful for that. And then um, I also got two things of my favorite Dove Original Clean Print. And then um, some mousse. Now this mousse, I've always used the Tresemme mousse, but this... I'm dropping things all over the place. Let me put it down here. <laughs> this mousse is the biggest can of mousse I have ever seen in my life. I did not even know. You guys, it probably looks normal on camera, 
but it's huge. I wish I, I wish I wish I had another can to show you. I wish I had the smaller can to show you. It does say it's the largest size, but this is humongous. The other one's probably like up to here. Like it's so big. I got one of these and I just got one of these. So yeah, other than that, you know, the toiletries and stuff again, I got some socks. I got some uh, sports bras. <laughs> I don't even know if I should be showing you that, that to you guys, but I got some sports bras. I got um, a workout a Razorback tank and some workout pants and these came from JCPenney. Then I also got um, this five piece set, uh, Kanzel gift set. Um, I also got a calendar and a whole bunch of goodies. My grandma makes the most delicious goodies during the year as far as like cookies and fudge and peanut brittle and cake and fruit cake. I mean all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. So she made us all big old goodie boxes of that and then my aunt uh, makes her own beef jerky. She gave us a ton of that stuff also. Oh, and then my aunt got us a karaoke machine, which I was super excited about. I absolutely love, love doing karaoke, especially when we have at-home parties. We have a party, like, for somebody's birthday or, or an event all the time, like, at least once a year. And I love doing karaoke. Like, I don't even need to drink to do karaoke. It's my absolute favorite thing to do. So she got me an at-home um, karaoke machine for Andres and I, and so I'll put a little clip of that in here. And then this is the karaoke machine that she got for us also. So yeah, this is so cute. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to connect it and download songs and sing to it even if I'm by myself. But yeah, that was a really cool gift. And then I'm also going to insert a little clip of her goodie box that she gave us, which she gave us one of these last year also, that has more of like our household goods. And I'll put that in here. So this is the goodie box that I said that my aunt got us. She got us some paper towel, I mean, uh, what is that, toilet paper, some shout. Some uh, laundry sheets, detergent, dish gel. Oh no, this is trash bags and <laughs> dish gel, laundry detergent, um, cups, some dishwasher. What is this? Febreze. This is for the dishwasher. Uh, fabric softener. Kleenex and paper towels and some cookies. So yeah, she does really, really good. She actually, she house sat and dog sat our house when we were in Hawaii like she was staying here and um, taking care of the dogs in the house and stuff and so she played mm -hmm. paid really close attention to everything that we have in the house as far as brand and scent and stuff like that because she picked out almost everything that we use on a daily basis and she got a set also so between the two of them I mean really like between my grandma's toiletries Nin, uh, Nin well my aunt's name is Wanda but we call her Nin and between Nin's toiletries and her household goodies and gift cards and that kind of stuff, we usually are set for a good half a year before we have to buy anything else. So if your family doesn't do that, it's actually a really good thing. You should tell your parents that that's the kind of stuff that you want, unless they buy it for you, you know, throughout the year anyway. I have to buy my own products, so getting it for Christmas is actually a really good deal for me. So, yeah. So anyway, like I said, you know, our family is a bit different, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. We're so blessed and so thankful for everything that we get for Christmas and throughout the year. Our family's, my family's great to us, and so I couldn't ask for anything more. So anyway, if you guys have a what I got for Christmas video, be sure and post it down below so I can watch them. I love watching these things, see kind of what quirky things other people get for Christmas. So anyway, yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my what I got for Christmas video, and don't forget to check out my one from last year if you're a new subscriber. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I hope you had a, an amazing holiday season, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!